Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Dredge. Uh, as we as we sort of trudge through Dredge with a bit of a grind starting to set in, and that's okay. That's fine. We, we're settling into the loop. The, the honeymoon phase might be over a bit. Oh god, that that came out wrong. I'm still loving this game, but we are settling into a bit more of a uh, an objective-driven grind, right? Um, so let's take stock. Oh, we did bring back a crab pot, which will drop. Uh, we've got a hundred bucks, and oh, I left us talking about, do I want to keep buying cheap crab pots? I don't know if that's probably the move, because we do have a hundred and fifty dollar ones ready to go, right? Efficient crab pot should be more effective at catching creatures. Or a hardy crab pot. Lasts longer in the water. That's interesting. I I suppose we could... I, I don't really want to do it right now, but we might be able to go down a bit of a mental deep dive over the merits of which pot over another. But um, it's probably worth noting that a lot of that gets dismissed out of hand quickly because they're just prerequisites to the next level of pot. You know? So it's just going to be sort of... I, I guess it'll be one versus the other. A bit either or. And then that'll be that. Aha. Okay, wood. Wood we probably need the least. I guess it... I guess the argument might come back to how attentive I would be with my crabbing, right? Because... <sighs> metal parts, let's go. I sort of posited that... Or we could probably go through that little channel. That um, you want to probably go out, grab as many parts as you can, and then check your, your crab pots on the way back in. Or let them fill entirely. But even then, you'd have to make specific runs out. So I suppose you could you could potentially make an argument. Uh oh, I don't like that aberrant glow right there in front of us. Nah, run away from that. Run away from that. Uh oh. Bugger it. We're going blind, baby. I'm not stopping. Even though the clock seems to stop. <gasps> there was a boat. D the, uh, the bad guys still attack you if you're stationary. You know what I mean? So, doing that just then, checking, checking along the way and filling up with what you can, what's that going to do if you leave a pot there for a while, for five days? Or, or three days, but it fills up quicker. Hmm. I don't know. I, th I feel like the five day one might, it's, it's good that I'm torn between the two. That sort of indicates balance, I would say. But um, I think maybe the five day one would be good just because that that's less scarlet downtime. Three days versus five days between repairs. All right, we don't have any cloth. Though so I have this. Oh, look, I can afford it. What is this? Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold engines. Now, what's this? Alright. Well, hang on. How weird can we get with this? <laughs> yeah! Hey, if it works, it works. I hope that doesn't make my, my ship do weird things. <laughs> 
Gear slots are gear slots. See, are they identical? I wonder why it shows two of them. Rusty outboard engine, two and 10.5. Two and 10, yeah. Okay, that's a little bit strange, isn't it? Maybe, actually, maybe she has limited stock. I don't know, that's possible. We still haven't bought that. Um, so we want to save a hundred bucks for another, another engine. And then we've still got this piece of wood here. Okay, so what's the next play? We want, uh, f we want fabric and part. And then probably, oh, what is that? Some sort of steel or something like that. Some sort of special. Sorry, but fabric and, and, and metal scrap are probably the, the go right now. Right? Uh, did we repair all? No, so I've still got a crab pot I can drop off. Um, bugger it, let's go out. Let's do it. See, now, they're not flashing, but those ones are. I think flashing indicates... ...capture. Oh. Trophy, let's go. There we go. Tusk groper. Pig-like tusks protrude from the mouth of this ravenous brute. With no eyes to speak of, it attacks indiscriminately. So, that mission trinket we got was just a one-off, I think. Remember, the, the dude on the... So, the game's sort of given us a, a little bit of mixed messages. Because the, the dude up there took the handkerchief. However, that hasn't seemed to have mattered. Like, it's not like we're getting another one of these handkerchiefs. If you follow. Follow my meaning. Um, it seems that... What is he interested in? He is interested in more relics, but... The only way we got them was from the... Harbour Master or whatever he is. Um, doing like a special event to them. back. Bugger. Apparently it's time to get out of bed. Pick up. Doesn't help much, does it, Scarlet? You goose. Goober, even. I could use a cod. Ooh. Perfect. Perfect. So there we go. I've managed to distract myself yet again. Good work, Scarlet, you goose. Um, we, yeah, we really need to go dredging. 
Have you seen that strange red light at night? Yeah, it's on my list of things to do, mate. Now, did we not have an upgrade? Oh no, we did. We bought the engine. That's right. We bought the engine upgrade. We just haven't bought a new engine. There we go. Bonza. 46.2 knots. Let's go. Alright. No time to dilly dally. Let's get dredging. Oh. Planks. We really don't want planks. I reckon oh let's 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 roll tight here. I'm out of I'm out of things. Yep. Oh look that's absolutely dredgeable. Oh what's in there? Wait, I probably should have binoed whatever this was first. Oh <gasps> cloth, perfect. No, wrong button, Scarlet, you idiot. How many buttons can you press for this mode? One, so... I guess in my defense I have a whole keyboard of the wrong button. <laughs> You're stretching there, son. Stingray. The Shrieking Eels. Yeah, let's get in here. What is this? What is going on there? Inspect. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Uh, isn't that interesting? Stingray. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Oh, what is that? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm probably gonna end up saying that every episode. Look at this down there, there's a whole ship down there. Relic, return it to the collector. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this thing. Yes. Yes. Oh, something aberrant over there. Oh, look, got nice little trees. Grey eel. What do you reckon we go around the reverse side of this bluff? Let's go. While well, we still have a teeny tiny bit of daylight. Oh, big old shark there. Might grab some eels. Eels up inside ya! Find an entrance where they can. Crawling through your tummy, through your mind, through your anus. Jeez, now that is the deepest reference. I wonder if anyone knows what that is from. Oh, trophy eel! Let's go. Nope, I don't like that. Let's get out of here. Run. Screw it! Oh, it's faster than me! Hull damage, wade line disabled. Oh no. Oh no. So once you hear it, you gotta run. Ah. The greed, Scarlet. We still need to go over to that bottle. Oh, nope, nope, nope. So, I kind of like how when you head down doing the fishing, now I realize the camera going directly down on top of you is super intentional because it blinds you. 
Uh, you enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seems changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled farther than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Oh, he zapped me brain with some magic. Ability unlock haste, otherworldly speed at a price. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast toward Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. Yeah, well, our poker deck sort of infers that that's where we're going next anyway. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Do you know who owned these relics? Yes, who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? How long have you lived here? Oh, quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before me. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavours. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Is there one particular you wish to know about? No more about? Haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel, but be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Are there other powers you wish to know more about? No, I'm good. Cool. Thanks, mate. Can I go on your workshop yet? It's locked. Roger. Okay. Well, maybe we rest for a tad. What was the damage anyway? Yeah, it took out one of my engines as well. Bit poo. Map. Right, so he's suggesting we go down there. We still want to look behind Little Marrow and we want to help uh, Shaz build her house up north there. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, rest. Undock. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Well. There's only one real way to find out, isn't there? Wop, 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 wop. Oh, jeez. What the hell? No. <laughs> um Really? Oh, it's it's the other way. It's inverted. Um there we go. I mean, we're pretty chockers. So we did find some cloth and some metal, which I think was is a win. In, in many categories. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks toward the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Well, who are you expecting? Your engine, it sounds like... Oh, I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. 
Dejected, she turns and walks back toward the lighthouse. Well, sorry to disappoint you with my presence. Selfish. Hmm. Repair all. Oof, a costly price to pay indeed. All right, we got some fabric. 125 bucks for that upgrade. Oh, I thought I got metal. I must be going crazy. I can't buy that yet. Okay, so we want metal and we want money, right? That's fine. We can handle that. Um, perhaps we pass some time. We want metal, don't we? I'm just scanning the distance. Yeah, so that boost is cool. I think it's going to be more helpful at night when I'm trying to run as opposed to trying to farm. What is... what is this? Uh, what is that? A slab of rock juts from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Oh look, it's like a... it's a cod puzzle. It's a Call of Duty puzzle. Don't suppose we've got any cod nearby. No. I don't like that eerie music. Get away from me. Ooh. Mate, I'll take an aberrated eel. So having... We're losing inventory space, but having the extra speed for fishing is just... Fantastic, because that means the clock goes, well, you know, more efficiently. Oh, if you can press the button, Scarlet. Just saying. What happened to my aberrated eel? I thought I saw a thing. There it is. Bugger, we'll throw this back. Alright, we're going to continue looking for dredgies, and we might have to do a cod run at some point. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer, look inside. Ooh! Okay. Alright. Nah, eels are not important enough, to be honest. Nice. Oh, that's like swordfish out there. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. I mean... Don't really... Why would we expect it to? It's a bit strange. Alright, well... I mean, we got some wood. And we got an aberrated eel. Cloth. Oh, we could use some cloth. There we 
we go. Oh, okay, well, lesson learned. That's what happens if you drive too close to something. You do indeed smash. Let's go. Blow off valve on my ship. See, now we don't necessarily need the wood for that, but we could use the wood there. I'm not actually allowed to place. Mm. You know what we could do though? Two wood, we could drive that north perhaps. Storage. It's getting busy in here. Six at night. Post eel. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. Lovely. We've only got 16 of 128. Oh, man. Might need to pick up the pace. Uh, you know what I might actually do is... I'll dock, sorry. What I might actually do is put these in storage. We will... I need to affect repairs. We will duck across and sell the trinkets and we'll crab along the way and then we'll come back here to then take those boards north. Wait, that's not dredgeables, is it? Oh no, that looks like fish, doesn't it? Trader, let's go. Good man, good lad. You know, it occurs to me that I can probably store those crabs there and pick them up in my world storage when I head back. That'd be much more efficient, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's head back. Oh no, look at that out there. Come on, Scarlet. Keep it together. Nice. That's what we were here for. I can't fit it. I'm enjoying just crabbing around in the shallows. Um, yeah, right. And then um, if I check my storage, look at that. So what happens if I go here? 
I don't suppose that sells my storage fish. It does not. And do something like that. That's cool. So we could probably work out a system where I like lap back and forth between the towns. They also mentioned that I could probably sell to other towns so I could probably get more money for, for, for different fish. So we do need to start making some undertakings. Okay, so we'll put a bow on it there. But the next sort of step is I want to run the wood north. Um, we might have enough money for the for an upgrade. If not, um, oh, well, I won't check now. We'll check on the next one. Um, if not, I think we still need metal parts. So we're, we're going to start going abroad and focusing in a little bit more. Anyway, cool. Thank you for joining me, team. Uh, make sure you, you know, chuck a thumbs up, a comment. Let me know that you're watching this and you're still with me. You're having a binge. You're enjoying it. And, uh, and like I said, if you are in that position and you're enjoying it and want more, let me know. Um, and I'll make more episodes. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.